Texas Governor Rick Perry turns himself into authorities following his indictment on two felony counts for alleged abuse of power. Rosemary Lemberg was the head of Texas Public Integrity Unit and was jailed for drunk driving last year. That's when Governor Perry allegedly demanded that she step down and when she refused, the governor withheld funding from her office. Amanda House has the latest from Washington. Before these charges, Texas Governor Rick Perry had been busy rebranding his public image following his 2012 presidential campaign disaster. <laughs> Oops. Just as the Lone Star State Governor was looking like a serious potential 2016 candidate, he's facing charges of coercion and official oppression, a maximum sentence of 109 years in prison. Perry remains defiant, though, saying this is just partisan politics and has since surrounded himself with a high-powered legal team. Support for the embattled governor has been coming from all over. Fellow Republicans and potential 2016 GOP rivals, Governor Bobby Jindal and former Governor Governor Jeb Bush coming out almost immediately in support. And on Monday, Governor Chris Christie, chair of the Republican Governors Association, releasing a statement in Perry's defense. But where are all the Perry haters? Even some of his toughest critics are coming to his defense. The editorial board of the New York Times calling Perry one of the least thoughtful and most damaging state leaders in America, but also saying that bad political judgment is not necessarily a felony and that this indictment is the product of an overzealous prosecution. For Perry, the potential political fallout of this indictment for himself, his party, and his presumed presidential ambitions is still unknown. But one thing's for sure, while Perry may have helped erase memories of his embarrassing oops moment, he now has another one to deal with, his mugshot. Perry's aides have maintained that the governor's impending legal battle won't derail his busy travel schedule. With an eye on 2016, the governor plans to visit key presidential battlegrounds, including Iowa, South Carolina, and New Hampshire in the coming weeks. Amanda House, One America News, Washington.